Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial of Kemet and this time we are going to create uh, that you can open and close doors so let me just show you guys what it will look like at the end um, you press the F key and it will open and it will close so just to make sure uh, just explain the whole scene so here is just the floor prototype nothing very special just add the collider so you can walk uh, at it just the standard FPS controller and the door script, but we will come to that later on. Um, here is just a default cube, and there are a few important things about it. First, it is uh, under another uh, empty game object, and that's very important. And also the rotation is 0, 0, 0. So that's the default rotation, and if it will open, it will always be at this point. So it will always look the same. So this is also very important, and as you can see, it's also under um, the floor, but that's just because um, one very special reason, and that's I'm too lazy to create a door for only a tutorial, so I just uh, use the default cube. Um, so very, very, uh, there is something that the cube needs to have, and that's the piv uh, pivot point needs to be at the side of the door, because otherwise, if the pivot is here, it will rotate around uh, this place, so that will be kind of weird um, because a door doesn't open like that. So that are a few important things and well let's just create a new script. So create C sharp script and call it doors. Oh, doors. Then what you are going to do Oh yeah, and also something important about scene is you are going to create here, you're going to select this layer and add layer and make a new layer and call it door. And just assign that layer to this object like this. Then what you are going to do, uh, that's the wrong one. Then what you're going to do is put in a script, we are going to use some variables. So let me just first explain all of them and just add them. So the first is, a public float time left and this is the time uh, that the door will open so how far is the door open so you can also see this as a percentage about how long it will take before the door of uh, or how much the door is open so um, also we are going to use uh, public raycast hit because we need to hit because we're going to send out a raycast to check if there is a door in front of you so also a public transform of the current door because we need to uh, change the current door, the rotation of it. A public bool open, well, because we have to check is it open or is the door well uh, or isn't the door open. Um, also, a public bool is opening door, and that's because we have to check if it is already opening a door. It can't open another door, so I think that's a bit logic, just to make sure that. Um, Okay, how can I explain this? Uh, good. Uh, if you're opening two doors at the same time, this whole system will just think, wait, which door do we need to open? And nah, things like that. So just to make sure that doesn't get weird, we are assigning that. So also a public transform cam. So this camera is the point of where you want to uh, be the raycast form. And also a public layer mask mask. And that is because you need also a mask to check um, which layers he can hit. So that will only, of course, be the door mask. So um, the whole start function, start function, we are not going to use that. So we're just going to remove that, and we're going to uh, create a new void. So the first thing is public void check door. So um, it's going to uh, happen if you are going to uh, input dot cat key down. And so if you are going to press the F key and um, let me zoom in a little bit. I think it's already a lot better. And if the time left is zero. So if it isn't opening another door, actually, that's actually the thing that it um, will check. Um, then 
it will do check door. And then by check doors, the thing it will do is it will send out um, a request. So physics does request, and then a request from the position of the camera um, forward, of course. Out hit because we need to uh, change some variables, and we are going to do this with this request hit, and it will be the length of five. You can change that to a closer or longer, whatever you want to have it. And also it will be of the layer mask mask. Now we are going to uh, see what's happening if it's hitting uh, a door. The first thing we'll do is open is false. So um, it will just set by default that it isn't the door isn't open. Then it will just check if the door maybe it is open. So if hit dot transform dot local rotation dot Euler angles dot i is bigger than 45 degrees it is open because as you can see here if you rotate it uh, 90 degrees it's more than uh, 45 degrees and it's open so that's kind of how this works and if this open is true then uh, also is opening door is true so it is opening a door right now and also the current door is the hit dot transform and then it is going to uh, i'm going to create a public void open and close door and it won't uh, open and close always it will only do it if it is opening a door. Then it will open and close a door. Then I just have to oh, scroll down a little bit here. Then the thing it will do is just uh, first get the percentage of how much it is already open. So how you're going to do this is time left. Um, time dot delta time so it just add a percentage of that but um, then you need to check and that's very important if this open because it will have another animation if this open and if this close because if this open it will rotate to 90 degrees and if it's uh, or if this open it will open to zero degrees and if this close it will open to uh, 90 degrees so the current door dot local rotation oh local rotation is the same as um, we are going to uh, slurp this because we want a nice animation and we are also going to make that how far the who, um, if you're going to open a door just in normal life at the end just before you uh, have uh, the position where you want the door have it's just going to be a little bit uh, less fa fast it's just going to be like this uh, just to make it a little bit more clear it's just going to show you guys as you can see at the end it just doesn't open that quick anymore and to add this within this script we are just going to add current door dot local rotation to a colony quadrination dot euler and then here it will be zero 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 because we are going to close the door and it is time left that's uh, the position it is then we are going to do uh, an else comma comment and it is going to do exactly the same as on this line but with one little change it's going to do 90 degrees then it's going to check if the time left is greater than one if it is it will change the time left to zero so it can uh, just be used again uh, with this otherwise it will be uh, the second time you open the door this will be one dot so many till two and well so on that's just kind of hard to 
work with that. So that's why I'm going to reset the time left. And is opening door is false because it isn't opening a door anymore. So now we're going to check it. Oh, we have an error. So first we're going to check that. Oh, that means, oh, I've got here, I think something then. Oh yeah, I got here, I got local position, but it's of course local rotation. I think you already saw that, that that was wrong, but I think this will just fix. Yeah, this is going to fix all the errors. Now we are going to assign everything. So we're just going to the first person controller, add here the script, so doors. Um, we are going to add right here on the cam, we are going to add the first person character. And here we are going to uh, use door. Then we're going to remove this one, or actually you guys don't do that, but it's my test script, so I'm going to remove it. Then I hit play and it should work. So, let me, and it's working. And you can see at the time left, at first it goes uh, quicker than after, you know, at the, or that's a lie. You can see here the animation is first a little bit quicker than at the end. So uh, I hope you guys liked it. That's all for this time. Um, if you do like it, please leave a like or a subscribe. And I see you guys within the next tutorial.